Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Autofill and uh, Fill Series in Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn here. So I'm already inside Microsoft Excel and we are going to learn how to deal with a Fill Series in Autofill. So let me just give you an example of exactly what this does. What autofill and fill, fill series does is it automatically fills in cells for you based on us, you know, whatever criteria it picks up from your behavior. Again, let me demonstrate this. <clears throat> so here I typed in Monday. <clears throat> and now if you look down in the lower right hand corner of this little green highlight cell here, it'll turn into a plus sign like this. And if I click and hold, it'll start to cycle through the days of the week. So that's going by column. If I go up back to the top, it can also go across a row as well. And so this is an example of an autofill. Uh, Microsoft Excel saw that you put the day Monday in there and it's kind of assuming that you wanna go through the days of the week. And of course you can also do this for um, months. So if I put in April, we don't have to start at January. If I put in April, again, you can see that I start to automatically scroll through the months of the year if I really wanna do that, either by row or by column, whatever. And you can see that this is how it works. Now, there are several default lists inside Microsoft Excel that I'm going to show you in a second. But one more thing I want to show you is that you can also kind of make your own, uh, uh, we call them, you know, little fills rather quickly. So, for example, you want to go like, for example, day one as an example. And so if you click and drag down, you can see it'll automatically go day two, day three, day four, etc. Same thing applies going across a row. It picked it up quickly. And so again, this is a great way to save you time. I know some people, maybe they type this in manually if they're not quite familiar with these different tools. But if you understand autofill and fill series, it'll save you a lot of time. Now, let me show you where the default lists are at that are automatically already in Excel. Of course, you know, when you buy the program, if you click on file then go all the way down to the bottom and click on options, and then after that, you want to uh, click on advanced like this and then scroll down nice and slow until you see general. And so you can see under general, I know this is really small. You can click on edit custom list like this. And these are all the lists that are automatically available by default. You can click on these and they're all here. Now these are the ones you can't delete but these are all the ones that are available for you. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, abbreviated, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, spelled out fully. And the same thing with months, January, abbreviated, also January in the months, uh, uh, spelled out the long way. Now, you can also do more advanced things. I guess they're kind of advanced. Let me clear out this to give, me, give myself some more space here. So if I just delete that. So for example, if I wanna skip, let's say I'm going from two to four here. If I highlight both of these cells and then I go down to my little green box again and drag, you can see that it autom automatically begins to skip count by two, four, six, eight, 10 and 12, etc. And so you can see that how this works as well. And this same ideal applies for days of the week. So if I have Monday and then a Wednesday, how you spell it, then I highlight both of these it'll automatically start skipping days all the way across like so. You can see that it goes from Monday to Wednesday, Friday, it skips Saturday, goes to Sunday, etc. And so that's kind of how that is. Also, if you want to um, follow a pattern, you can um, drag across like this, um, like that, where you can uh, have Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday going across rows. Um, it doesn't quite work as well going down, but it does work going uh, uh, across columns or through a row, excuse me. Now, a few more things that we can do is we can skip count by, by decimals. So if I have 0 0.25 and then I have 0 0.5, like so, I can make uh, Microsoft Excel will automatically pick up this pattern. And you can see if we click on the little green box again and we drag down, you can see now it's counting down or counting up, excuse me, by 0 0.25. So one more thing that I need to talk about is called a fill series. Now a fill series is kind of like autofill, but you don't have to click and drag down. 
In other words, if you have to make a really, really long list that goes on for quite a long time, this is one way to do this. Now, in order to do this, you have to, of course, click on the home ribbon or the home tab, excuse me, and then you go over here to fill and you'll have these options here and you'll click on series. And so for now, we're just going to keep the, the options uh, the way they are. We're gonna accept, we're gonna go across a column here. That's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna go down instead of going across a row. And so we're just gonna start at one and we're gonna stop at 10. But remember the benefit of this is when you have to make a long list, a really, really long list. And so when I use the step values, I click series in on column, type is linear, and then step value is one and stop at 10. If I click okay, oh, excuse me. I think I have to put the one here first. Okay, let me go back. And so I go back here, series start at one, stop at 10, going across the column here. And there we go. You can see all my values are right here, just like we planned from one to 10, like so. And of course you can also uh, skip uh, exponentially or, or other values as well. So this time I'm gonna start at two and we're gonna go back here, click on fill and then click on series. And so now I'm going to click on growth. That's the second uh, bottom budget from the top in the type column. Also, I wanna go through the columns again. I'm going to step at the value of two and I'm going to stop at 64. That's what I'm gonna do. And I click OK. And you can see right there, two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, etc. So that was exponential growth. So there are different ways that this can be approached and done. And that's what makes it so much interesting and a great way for you to, uh, you know, be able to do things quickly and efficiently inside Microsoft. You can use this. One thing I did forget to mention is if you wanna do a list with one, make sure you hold down the control button as you uh, click and drag, otherwise it will not work. So if I do control like this, you can see now that I start to get the numbers. If you don't hold down control, it will not work. So that's autofill. And so you can also make your own list, which is something else that I need to uh, show to you before we wrap this up. So let's say I have a list that I wanna make. Let's see here, education, research, and then techniques. All right, so this is my list. And so what I do here is I highlight this, then I go to file, then I go down to options, then I go up to advance, then I go down here to general, then I click on edit custom list, and then of course I wanna make a new list, so I'm gonna click add, and so I'm just gonna highlight these, I'm gonna click import, excuse me. All right, so you can see here, when I click import it, it puts in my three names, or my three uh, terms, whatever, and then I click OK. And so now, I click OK again. When I type this in, it'll automatically recognize that this can be potentially a list. So when I drag, notice how I automatically get my terms. And if I drag for a long time, they start to repeat themselves. That's how that works. So um, I showed you how to make a list right there. We talked about how to do the autofill where Microsoft Excel automatically picks up on a pattern you might be put in there, whether it's day or month or a pattern by numbers, two, four, six, eight, et cetera, or counting by uh, increments that are less than one or more than one with a decimal, as you can see here. We also looked at the field series, which is very useful when you have to put in a long list of information for whatever purpose you may have. It could be linear or it could be you know, growth or other options are available. And like I just said, I just showed you how to make the, um, the list right here. So that wraps up this video. So my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.